Hey everyone, so today's video I am going to be doing a few BBSM related quizzes. Uh, the first two are on OkCupid, okay uh, the first one being the BBSM top and the BBSM bottom quizzes. Alright, let's get started. Alright, question one of the BDSM top quiz. Tying someone up. I love it or slash like it. Uh, question two. Being the rapist in a fantasy rape scenario. Doesn't, will never do it because I, because to me that makes me feel like I'm actually trying to be a rapist and I don't support rape even. But I do know it's a fantasy scenario that some people like. Even if I don't. Question 3. Role playing the headmaster who is punishing a naughty schoolgirl. I love slash like it. Forcing someone to masturbate. Love slash like it. Forcing someone to clean. Does nothing for me. Alright. Alright, question 6. Putting a color leash on, leash on someone. Um, I guess I kind of like it. Well, honestly, actually, no. It doesn't really do much of anything for me. Like, I would do it, but it doesn't really do much of anything for me. Showing somewhere in a ritual position or activity. It doesn't really do anything for me. Signing a relationship contract. Um, doesn't really do anything for me. Alright, question 9. Loaning or submissive to a trusted friend? Um, it doesn't, I don't really like it because, like, it makes it sound like it, the, if I were to be in a relationship with someone that, and they were to be submissive, that, it's like, they're my property and it's just like, they're, no, I don't treat someone like they're your actual properties, no. Not something I would do. Having someone get a permanent or semi permanent mark of ownership. No. It's just like, what if we end up breaking? Like, I will never do it because, um, because, like, for example, with cutting, no, I don't promote self harm, and cutting is a type of self harm. So, I don't support that. Um, like, I personally would never do it, but if a person, like, it's the cutting part that I have a problem with, anything else, I don't really care, because it's not my relationship, if it were between other people, two other people, I don't care, because it's not my relationship, if it were to be me, I would not do that. All right, question 11. Having someone serve you as a maid or butler um, doesn't really do much of anything for me, so giving orders for someone to follow. Question 12. Um, I've, I doesn't really do anything for me personally. Um, question 13. Using someone as a footstool will never do it because I don't really like that. Treating someone like they're your doormat, which is crappy, kind of pretty much to be like personally to me, it's crappy. Treat someone like they're your doormat. Question 14 being a top in an intense SM scene doing an activity, you know, it doesn't really turn on the bomb. We'll never do it because it's like if it doesn't turn the bottom, um, it it doesn't turn the submissive person on, then I won't do it. We'll never. Question fifteen: Having someone do chores for you, we'll never do it. Uh, giving cock ball torture if I'm into guys, or breast slash nipple torture to women. Um. I don't like or dislike it because it, 
It's just that it does nothing for me, personally, but then again, I've never really done it using a single tail or full whip on someone. Never done it, so I'm going with does nothing for me. Um, but seeing someone never done that, so I would go does nothing for me. So, mm, we'll never do it for question 19 using someone as an ashtray. Question 20, leaving marks from very rough sex. I guess I like it depending on what kind of marks. Alright. Oh, do not make. Really? Um, alright. Being tied up. I like it. Um, I will never do that. Uh, we'll never do it because I don't identify as female. We'll never do it. We'll never do it. And these are basically the same questions as the quiz I just took. Wearing collar or leash. We'll never do it. Um, I kind of just like this. We'll never do it. Never will do it. Never will do it. Uh, sorry. Uh, I guess I would like it. Doing chores. I'll never do it. Uh, question 16. Recovering. Receiving cockball torture if I were to have a dick or breast slash nipple torture. I don't like it. Being whipped with a single tail or bull whip will never do it because the bull whip is made out of like bull tail. I don't promote using leather because I just don't like leather. If it were pleather, I would. If it were like pretty much leather with but with the P, so basically fake leather, I would probably wouldn't mind if it didn't weren't so hurt so bad. Same with single tail. I don't really know much of what single tail is though. Being fisted, we'll never do it. We'll never do it for serving at the ashtray. Uh I guess I would dislike it having marks left from very rough sex. Or really, I guess I would like it depending on what the mar marks left from very rough sex would be. Do not make me sign up. And it's gonna make me sign up, so never mind. So, as we could tell, I'm more of a top, or really more dominant in terms of BDSM than I would be with bottom submissive. Um, how do you feel about pain as part of, um, I can talk, how do you, all right, question one, uh, how do you feel about pain as part of sex or foreplay? I can tolerate pain, but pleasure is more important. Would you ever like to be tied up during sex or tied down your willing partner? Yes. Alright, question three. Do you like hearing or saying dirty words during sex or foreplay? I don't mind if my partner's into it. Would you can question four? Would you consider using sex toys as part of foreplay or on course with your partner? Some toys can yeah. Uh, how do you feel about involving? Uh, definitely not interested in adding food to it. Is your rear rear entrance off limits or open to exploration? Uh, no, 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 no. That's an exit only opening. And how do you feel about exploring the rear entrance of others? 
uh, I mean, if it would turn them, I mean, like, if it would turn them on, I mean, seriously, it's just like, I would, I guess, exciting now, turn around. Have you ever been to or would like to visit a fetish party or club? It could be a fun adventure, I guess. Do you know what SSC stands for? Uh, if I had to guess, it would be safe, sane, and consensual, but I'm going to look it up real quick just to make sure. <sighs> yep, safe, sane, and consensual. I just had to look it up real quick. Because I just wanted to make sure. Right. Question 10. Have you ever spanked or been spanked as part of sexual act? Or would you like to be part of such activity? Yes. Alright. Question 11. How do you feel about role playing in the bedroom? And no, we don't mean D&D &D sessions. But rather sexy dar doctor and naughty nurse kind of games. Can be a lot of fun. Do you get turned on by fetish clothing, like corsets, like tights, clothing, and collars? Um, if it's made of leather, then no. Some things, but not the general style. Alright. And according to PlayBuzz, if the results will load, I'm a kingster. Which means you like it rough, dirty, different, and kinky. So bring out the whips and chains. Thank you. <laughs> Clever. Word of, word of play. Alright. Quiz 4 is on the alt test webs.com website. Um, have question 1 of 14. Have you ever been tied up during sex or foreplay? If my freaking computer will stop with this. No, I have not. Sorry, I just had to reload it real quick. No. Really? Alright, you know what? I'm going to go with this quiz. Daddy or teacher kink. What kink suits me? Both. Personally, um, I mean, like, both are dominant roles, depending on, like, if you're the teacher in a BDSM situation or um, the daddy dom, um, both. But, um, I like the authoritative kind of roles. Um, I guess Daddy Campbell. Okay. So 62% of people on quota, which would be 311, prefer Daddy Campbell. Would rather go with Daddy King over Teacher King. So, and that's on quote of. Alright. Alright, question one. Alright, um, I guess that does it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. So, peace the fuck out, my wonderful wolf corns. Whether it be that you're male, female, or non-binary. So, yeah, great day to you.